Welcome back, everybody. Three Dudes Podcast, episode 15? Yep, 15. 15. Nailed it. Um, I'm Broden Wonderlick. That's Easton Bennett off to the opposite side and in between us, centering us. Always in Liam between us. Center, man. Liam's always in between us. Uh, How have you guys been? Good? Had a good week. Pretty good. Good week? Yep. Yeah. Played a golf tournament uh, Saturday morning. How'd that go? I know I talked to you a little bit. Looked a little chilly. It was a little chilly. Uh, not good. Well, I mean, it went it went good, but because it's a tournament, you have to have a registered handicap to the USGA. Yeah, which I don't. So uh, I played just guess. as a zero. Oh, yeah. So they went well. They wouldn't recognize it. Yeah, because I didn't have one. So they they played me as a zero, and I'm not a zero. Not a zero handicap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You're yeah. Uh, you October, don't hurt them. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say October golf is tough to begin with. So. Yeah. Oh, the conditions were not great. I mean, it was a little cold. It was a little windy, and then it started raining. But given the conditions. Played pretty well. I won't lie. I ended I ended twelve over, which is a, about my usual handicap. So yeah, that's not pretty a bad solid. Day. Yeah, eighty four. So was it a scramble best ball? Best ball. Best ball. Okay, so yeah. took the best score of the. Yes, played okay. our played our own shots. Took the best score. Gotcha. Yeah, handicap. What Broden was going to say, I assume, is just like they rate you based on what you are in relation to par, an even par. So if you yeah. were to, if it's the score to get you close to like what a pro player would be. The playing field. So yeah. every every course has they're all the same. A different slope. They, they yeah. all have huh? Oh. They all they all have a par of seventy two, is it? Yeah. Well, no. not all of them. Some have seventy, some seventy one. But it's some typically if it, it's typically seventy, seventy two. I yeah. mean it's it's right there in that range. So yep. that's that's why they weight the handicap the same because it's all relative no matter what course you go to. Yeah, and there's like slope based on difficulty of the course, but we're not going to get into that. We'll get into that on the Save golf that episode. For the golf episode, yeah. Uh, so let's get into some comments. Uh, only a few here. Um, Antonio Strojanovic, an assassin kills based off of his honor and what he believes. A hitman kills for money. So I think I kind of knew this subconsciously, but I didn't really know it was a fact. But it makes sense. Like the movie Wanted. I just watched that movie again the other day. I don't know if James I've seen McAvoy and Angelina Jolie, Morgan Freeman. Oh, when they're curving the bullets. Yes, great movie. It's a fun movie. I, I thought like they it. did that in the Matrix when they whip bullets around a Maybe, corner. I don't know. I don't think I haven't seen the Matrix in a yeah. while. Did you know the MythBusters actually busted that myth that you can't curve bullets? Yeah, yeah it's going to go yeah. out straight. From I mean, yeah. I don't think they needed to bust it. Really. They tried. I think some of them they got minor curvature though. I think you could just get minor curvature if you let the bullet travel far enough. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's not. Nathan looked this up over a long distance yep. because of the rotation the bullet has, it breaks in that direction. I think I want to say it's um, Kentucky windage, but it's not. It's like so, the Coriolis yeah. effect and stuff. What if you shot it in a hurricane? The Mythbusters probably, probably didn't try that. Probably affected. It's yeah. Yeah. A little bit, but based on its variables. Uh, Hot Spot Hero says, I've always loved eating sand. Doesn't matter where, where it's from, to be honest. Hmm. Uh, yeah, not for me. We just, uh, like to lay in it, put it in our cheeks. Mm-hmm. As we mentioned in the previous really episode. Shovel it in there, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Stephen Sprague also commented, this isn't on our list, but Stephen Sprague, an old friend of ours, commented, they make shovels for that. Yeah. Well, Stephen, you ever try to fit a full-size shovel, uh, in your swim trunks? Because <laughs> it depends on who you are. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably me. like, yeah, I have actually. <laughs> Some people like, I wake up every morning. Yeah. And they have a full-size shovel. It's on the, it's on that day's uh, to do, on that day's to do list. So last week's episode was obviously assassins. For those of you guys that for those of you guys that didn't listen, uh, Lee Pinto says you didn't mention the fact all assassins use their middle name or most. So James Earl Ray, Lee Harvey Oswald, oh, John yeah. Wilkes Booth, Mark David Chapman. Yeah, I wonder why they do that. Hmm. Sir Han, Sir Han didn't though. No, he did not. Maybe his middle name. His was, middle name starts with a B, I think. Just Brad. Yeah. Sirhan, Brad, Sirhan. It's something weird, but. Does it actually start with a B? I swear. Huh. Did some research on him. Nathan's not finding nothing on Liam's question, so. Guess that's not. that's all right. I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> uh, Cursed Love 707 says, in the game, this is related to the Hitman game that we were talking about, with the Hitman being bald. You got something for us? You can't do that across. I get distracted looking from left to right between Liam and Nathan. Uh, in the Hitman game, from the game tells it to... Wow, this guy's comment is tough to read. In the game or something from the game tells it's to blend in easier. Bruh is six foot something. Bald dude doesn't exactly blend in. Lol. 
He also used six inches. The two apostrophes, not feet. So hmm. needs a quick lesson on uh I don't even know what those are called. The foot and inches rule yeah. marker. It's House just foot's one dash. It's an apostrophe and like yeah. quotation marks, I think. Yeah. But is there a name for those to symbolize the shortness of something else? Like not an abbreviation. What about the Would tallness? it be an abbreviation? I don't know what those are called. The, the markers or whatever. Yeah. No. Six apostrophe. This means six feet. Yeah, it's pretty well six feet. recognized. Yeah. Uh but yeah, that does make sense. I don't know if he thinks bald dudes blend in better to Scenarios? They definitely don't. I feel like I could pick out <laughs> Howie Mandel in a crowd of anybody and Mr. Clean. I could just know him. Yeah, because it's yeah. like a beacon. Yeah. Anytime they're outdoors, you see something shining off someone's head. It's like, what is that bald dude over there? Well, there's less bald people than people that have hair. So, of course, you're going to be like, I got bald over there. He doesn't know. Yeah. I'd say to make them blend in, they'd almost have to give them hair. Yeah. Good assassin or hitman. Probably be bald and then wear Wig. fake hair. A lot of real hair. I'd make somebody sh- else's DNA. Ooh. I'd cut his ankles off, probably. Make him a little bit right. shorter. If they, oh, like if he's like six foot seven Before or something. Before I make him bald, yeah, he's like six foot something. Before I make him bald, I'm be like, you're going to have to have a peg leg. Two of them. You're going to be a pretty awful like Mr. assassin. Krabs. We're going to give you a parrot, too. <laughs> yeah. Just a little. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to turn you into a pirate. Uh, Cooper, Cooper Cush. So this one I was actually excited about. Do you know who this is? Cooper Cush. Cooper Cup. Cush. K U S H. This is an Apple Cush. podcast review. Really? Our first of such. He says, I don't even know any of these guys that besides we grew up in the same town, but I'll be damned if this podcast isn't the best part of my Tuesday. Keep it up, gents. Cooper Cush. And maybe he has a different name where it's Cooper something else. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, this was left on October 11th. So we must have missed it two weeks ago or I missed it two weeks ago. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for that review. Yeah. And oh, if yeah. you have a real name, if this is your online alias. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's Cooper Cush. Like maybe he's a big 420 advocate. Yeah, it could be. Cush, yeah, Cush. I didn't think of that. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes a, probably more sense. Yeah. Uh, but thank you, Cooper. Assuming your name is Cooper. But that's all the comments we got for this week. We Again, got one more. Oh, Roden's got one oh, from. Dylan. Roden's got one from Lat. Yeah, Lat says. I got you. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's quick. Uh, Lat says uh, he wants to be in the first live audience whenever we do that, but he wants to make sure that he doesn't get on camera. Keep him off the camera. So Lat wants to be a face on the scene. We can make that happen. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to do a live show eventually. I don't know when it's going to be, but Lat has the first ticket. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate we'll the just, uh, supporters. We'll give him a bucks. chair somewhere else off to the side. Oh, and that's one other thing I was going to add. Sydney. Nelson? Yep. She said, I didn't add it on here, but I was going to bring it up. She is the one that said that she recommended the mic closer to Liam's mouth. So she confirmed that. Uh, her and Austin were watching the podcast, and they said, I'm pretty sure that was me that told you that. So thank you, Sydney, for uh, finally kicking Liam into gear, kicking that can down the road. Thanks. Thanks, yeah. Sid. She's just helping the show be better, helping the show be better. But yeah, lat uh, first ticket for sure, and we'll make sure we keep you off camera. We'll we'll do the, you know how they do in like mob movies when they make it a silhouette and then they alter the voice. Oh, you know, like on interviews of like yeah, real yeah. life criminals. It's like so and so wanted to be unnamed. We can yeah. do that for lat when he's asking a question. Being kept private. Yep. So let's get into this week's topic, as we can see on the board. And um, next week, next Tuesday will be Halloween. So we're doing an episode on Halloween. We didn't want to post it on November 1st. So we're posting a week early. But uh, this week's episode is on Halloween. Has a drink of water. Usually that, I, is that what that is? Usually I take, cool. a, usually I I take, vinegar. Usually nice. I take a drink of water like when I lead you guys into something else to say. And I realized when I started drinking, I was like, I got nothing to go off of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this week's topic is Halloween. Uh, let's talk about the origin of Halloween. You guys have any idea how old Halloween is? Old. Um, I'd say probably whatever he says plus he's five years. Fourteen seven. Fourteen oh seven. Fourteen seven. So yeah. one hundred and forty-seven BC or AD or well, yeah. What are we doing here? Uh, like? AD, like the fifteenth century. I don't know. It's 2,000 years old, so I assume that's... It's 2,000 years old. Yeah. 
2,000 years old, around that. Orig- so it says, much. most scholars agree that Halloween, as we know it, originated some 2,000 years ago when Celtic people in Europe celebrated the end of the harvest and the start of a new year in a festival called... Did you catch that too? Sawween. Yeah. Did Larry, I say something goofy? Larry Bird? Celtic, yeah. Celtic. Celtic. It's Celtic. Is it Celtic? It's yeah. Celtic, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. We got the <laughs> sniffles here. <laughs> and you're a Larry Legend fan. Yeah, that's why I said Celtic. Oh, so it is Celtic. It's Celtic, it. yeah. Honor it. Figure it out. Yeah. That makes more sense. Not really, though. They should throw a K in there instead of a C. The it's, English language is So is that what the Boston stuffed. Celtics were named after? And then they just flipped the pronunciation? I'm guessing because their logo is a Irish dude. Mm-hmm. A little leprechaun. Yeah. Liam's part Irish. I think I we am. talked about this. Yeah. I think, actually, I think my percentage went up. Last time I checked. <laughs> how does that work? How does that work? It well, like when you go online, like where you like where you register through, like if more people do it, then they learn more about oh, where you're from. So like ancestry.com. Yeah. So like if more Irish people did it that are related to me, then they look at me and be like, Well, this guy's more Irish because more Irish people. Oh, so like your tested. some of your grandparents went on Ancestry and just typed in, they're like bup, 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 bup. Liam Owens, bup, bup, bup. and then they're like, Oh, let's bump his percentage up, three ticks. Well, they didn't put my name in there, but they know we're all related because of our DNA. Ah, uh, the lineage. Gotcha. I've I never know. went. I've never went to one of those websites. I should maybe. My dad went to one time, and he tells everybody he's related to King someone, some big king. I remember you used Genghis to go Khan. around telling everybody you were uh, Alexander Graham Bell, yes. and I am related to him. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think like Is that great, the most great, famous great, person you related great, to? Great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Are, are I'd you say related? he's pretty famous. He invented the telephone. I don't know if I'd have to be related to George Washington to top that. I think the guy who invented the telephone, I could think of a lot of more guys that are more famous than that guy, but Genghis Khan, we're all related to him. Maybe Jesus, like (laughs) (laughs) he'd be up there for sure. Randy Jackson. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Magic Johnson would be cool. Uh, Sharing blood with him. Huh? You think that'd be cool? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if we're sharing it in that sense. Uh, oh, no. I hope not. Anyways, just pass a vial to each other. Do a nice IV. Uh, so the Celts, so it's called the Celts then. What? Do you not do IV with blood? Anyway. Like a blood transfusion? Yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? An IV? Like if I give him a vial of my blood and he gives me a vial of his. Okay. Oh, we pop that? it on ourselves to share blood. I don't know if that's how that works. I don't think people do it regularly. I think people... But in this mythical story, it does. Cut their hand on the center, both of them, and then they shake. Blood Brothers? Yeah. Blood Brothers. We should do that. Like the hangover? On air. The three of us. How would you do a three, a three-way three handshake? We'd have to cut both palms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not down for that. One palm. I That'd could be do. all right. You could handle that? Yeah. I mean, it would you be... You have to. I'd be lefty for a couple months. A couple oh, months, you dude. You don't your hand off. Yeah, <laughs> it's just just do just it real a couple quick, fingers off. Like it could be a needle prick. That yeah. won't get enough blood to really mesh us together, though. Like you know when you're like chopping up an onion or a head of lettuce, and you just just get your finger, just yeah. slice it off. Yeah, yeah. And that sucks for a bit too, though. Yeah, it's just for a bit. So you just do it real quick. It's worth it. Yeah, so much. Think have of the you, bond. We'll have, have you guys ever been cut in the palm? Yes. Probably. Time. What do you do with that? I work, man. Last Friday when I stabbed you with that box knife. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Handed bro in a box knife with the knife out and he just... Well, I was like, hand me the knife because we're doing <laughs> drywall in his room over here. Yeah. I was like, hand me the knife and he hands it to me and I'm like, I'm not looking. I'm trying to like hold this piece up. Blade out extended from the knife and <laughs> it I wasn't grab it and I just go, ow! And he goes, yep, I thought about that <laughs> as I was handing it to you. I was like, maybe... <laughs> Like it was do just something about that. it. It wasn't. I like pulled it down, but not all the way down. So just a little nipple of the knife was sticking <laughs> yeah. out. Like, it wasn't like the full three inch blade he's like, was out. Like he stabbed me. He's like, oh yeah. Immediately when he grabbed it, though, I was like, yep. Thought about that right <laughs> when you reached for it. My bad. Maybe do something about it then. Yeah. But uh, Halloween. So the Celts. So that's what, how you pronounce it. The Celts. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. People also believe they could commune with the dead more easily during this time. And they would light big bonfires to ward off spirits. And did you know where bonfire comes from? It's another little history lesson for you. Is it French? Bonfire oh. actually comes from during these festivals in Sawin or Sawin, whatever this place is. 
they would take cattle bones and throw them in the fire. So then it started from bone fire and now it's a bonfire. No. Oh. And now it's just kids drinking around a bonfire and they don't even know that it goes back to dead cows. What a disgrace. Now they a do a lot of stuff. Now goes back do. to dead cows? Yeah. Yeah. Hamburgers, for sure. <laughs> That's one of them. Yeah. And not that impossible bullshit. Like the impossible <laughs> whopper, yeah. those don't count. Burger King's making changes over there with that thing. The That's impossible crazy. whopper. Why like why take something and ruin it? Have you had one? No, and I don't plan on eating anything like that ever. I would try it maybe, but no. I had know. tofu, if that counts. I had tofu one time. Tofu, I've never I've never really liked tofu because it's just the name. Tofu. Eat. It sounds, sounds like something you'd name your dog, I don't not know, something. Tofu new. and it's in a can and it's like Well, don't know. eat the stuff out of the can. Yeah, you gotta you gotta I didn't get, know it came in other stuff. Yeah, you gotta get legit tofu. There's yeah, like I don't yeah. know where from, but this restaurant I went to a few weeks back, I had tofu and it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, it was really good, but like only little bits at a time. It what tasted it? terrible. Where were it's you? It's like soy. Uh, when I was in Watford City, there's uh, a little Tokyo a tofu? steakhouse. It's actually is really it Japanese nice. food. Yes. What well, is tofu? Well, Tokyo steakhouse. It's like soy. It's what is soy? <laughs> you just he just he's I just know. <laughs> tofu what is soy? It's like the it's like soybeans that are like all ground up and like. Muddled and stuff. Is that what it is? And muddled, yeah. yeah. When you break it apart. Yeah. And then they like drain it and it hardens up into that. It's beans, essentially. Tofu is beans, hardened, hardened, <laughs> Why are you hardened milk like- beans. We're about to learn actually yeah, right why? now. Ugh. Gross. Tofu is actually known as a uh, bean curd in English. Ugh. Bean Anything curd. Anything that has curd attached to it that doesn't have cheese prefixing it, <laughs> I don't want to eat. Yeah, it's basically That's just true. soy milk. Like and, and you make it into a white block. Ugh. Trying to eat like a whole thing of it, like a big bite of it was pretty tough. But then I got <laughs> it in my head that it tastes a lot like fresh mozzarella cheese. And that, that got me past it. And so gotcha. I was like, this is good now. Give me a brick. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to pass. Um, to appease the deities. This goes back to our deities. Deities. The gods episode or whatever we did. Yeah. What did we do that episode on? Roman, so, uh, Greek gods, Greek, Greek gods, myth- yeah. Greek mythology. 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 They mythology. built bonfires and sacrificed crops and animals. Villagers also attended the bonfire ceremonies, wearing animal heads and skins as costumes. Oh. Real animal heads. And oh, animal it was skins. to fake out the spirits, wasn't it? Yeah, the spirits, the demons wouldn't get them if they were like, "Oh, that's a cow." Yeah, we it don't actually need were. Him. That's where all these disguises. Oh, came serious? From. That's where all these disguises came from. I think. I feel yeah, like I might have known that. Costumes yeah. came about. Yeah. Uh, so bats. We're gonna talk about bats. So bats are a symbol for Halloween. Yeah. Ozzy Osbourne. Bats are a symbol for Halloween. This came from the bugs. So all these bonfires would attract bugs, and the festival, uh, they'd have all these things around. There'd be a bunch of bugs. All the bats would come, and the bats would just come for a meal, just eat all the bugs. Mm-hmm. So that's how bats started. And then in that's Nova Scotia started. started, this bats appeared out of thin air to eat these <laughs> bugs. In Nova Scotian mythology, a bat settling in a house means a man in the family will die. If it flies around and tries to escape, a woman in the family will perish instead. Can you imagine seeing a bat in your house and that's so the bats rumor are going around the fucked. town? Yeah. Someone in this house Did is going to die. Mr. Uh, the Johnsons had a bat in their house. It hasn't <laughs> left yet. <laughs> Can you imagine you're a guy in the house and it's just chilling in there? And you're like, I got to get this fucker to try to escape. <laughs> I gotta, yeah, I've always hated around. my sister <laughs> anyway. Throwing stuff at him. <laughs> You're calling him names. He's trying to attack you. Like, Are you Sorry. willing to sacrifice your mom or sister, though? My wife, if it maybe. No, oh. jeez. <laughs> okay, I don't have one, so I've never been put in that. Peculiar. That's why I said mom and sister. I think you have a mom. No, we'd flip a coin. Who you and Matt? <laughs> All right, <laughs> heads you stay, tails you fly around, kill one of yeah. <laughs> my mom or sisters. No, I probably wouldn't, but that's just a good thing to say on the internet. I don't know what I would be in that situation. What would you? It's hard to say, yeah, I'd let my mom die before I died. <laughs> Doesn't she listen to this? No. Oh, okay. Then say whatever you want. But she, I'll tell her about it. I like questions like this. You know, would you? They really like, provoke thought. They're really just like, yeah, just like, gruesome hypotheticals. Is yeah. that what you're getting at? You know what I mean? But like, uh, like if you were if you were on the edge of the cliff, hanging on to two people with each hand, who would you pull up? Like you could only pull up one. Yeah. Would you rather Hitler or Stalin? Hitler. 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 Stalin. You're holding them both. 
Um, but you have to, can't you just let go of both of them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why are you pulling them off? One? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pulling them both, trying my best to pull them both up. Okay. Uh, a little anti Semitic. Yeah, use. but I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. I'd, pr- I'd save my family. Definitely my sisters because they're younger than me and I've lived a long enough life where they can enjoy a couple more years. A couple? Well, until they're 23 and they get the same. Wouldn't that ultimatum. be hilarious? You know? If a, another bat just flies right back in the house as soon as you let that one out. You're like, oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, several Christian popes tried to replace Halloween. All Souls Day and All Saints Day were November 1st and 2nd, making October 31st Hollow's Eve, which later turned to Halloween. Just ended up trumping it anyway. Yeah. So apparently All Souls Day and All Saints Day is still a thing. November 1st and November 2nd. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, they made those I – I don't think it's a holiday. But they made these days so people would stop thinking about the death day, Halloween. And people are like, we don't care. We like ghosts. And we like ghost stories. And we like dressing as movie characters and walking around yeah. and getting candy. Yeah. That's winning. a big one. What did you say? Did I you said say? I'm winning. Oh, I thought oh. you said women. Yeah, me too. I was like, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, There's too. women on Halloween too. They celebrate. Yeah. Uh, are you guys uh, triggered? Like now that you have your house, Liam. Yeah. Did you have your house last year for Halloween? Were you giving out candy? Uh, nope, didn't have it yet. I okay. just got I just got it earlier in March, so this okay. would be this would be my first one. Are you planning on handing candy out? What's it on a Monday night or a Tuesday? Tuesday. No, Monday. 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 Prefer not to. Last year I didn't. Like, Turned yeah, all my I'd, lights off. Went in my room. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm. No, I think I went to my parents. I got to get up. I, I got to get up and go to work at five. I'm not going to stay and, you know, and you got to believe yeah. that there's probably not going to be a lot of kids out. It's Monday night, but there's going to be a lot of kids. out. It'll be the same amount as every year, I believe. Yeah, I think uh, we went out all the time. I don't think that matters the day for Halloween. Well, when I was mm-hmm. growing up, all the Halloweens that were during the week, I couldn't be out late. I had to go to school in the morning. I had to get up. I know one of my friends growing up every Halloween, like in elementary school, his mom would tell him like he didn't have to go to school the next day. Because nice. he would be out. Who late. is that? Let's rat him nice. out. Nice. I don't want to rat him out. And be like, well, it's not his a, mom. Now we're talking his about his mom. Big deal. We're talking about bad parenting. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we're growing it was, up. Uh, Jaden. Oh, but now. Yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure his mom was Sick. like, it would be like, yeah, or like at least let him like sleep in. My parents would. They didn't care. They're like, hey, go trick or treating and do your thing, and if you go to bed at midnight, one a.m., whatever. All right. Still gonna wake up the next day. Yeah, my parents. Yeah, you just be tired. Yeah, take a nap. Whatever, you're in elementary school. Who gives a shit? Yeah, problem solved, problem solved. You're not making critical choices in that building anyways. No. no. I'm seven years old. Yeah, it's like, oof. Man, I'm not going to learn my cursive today. Those are the days, though. You, you remember? You remember I, I used to go out. I went out with a pillowcase one time. Yep. And I've, I've filled that, that half halfway up with that so pillowcase. Like 20 candy. pounds of candy. Yeah. I remember... We would always, I would always go with Ryan Broth. And did I, I went and we with always you too. Yeah. went together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I remember I'd meet up with Ryan and we'd go there and the pillowcase was always the move. And oh, people would huge. do like full soda cans. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, dude, when best. you get the full soda cans, when you get the full size candy bars, yep. it's like, let's fucking go. Dude. And you, you look forward to it all week too. You're like, oh, I can't wait to go to the Earlson house and they're going to give that me house full, always, the real yes. shit. Yeah. Do you think people like live for that? They become the house known as giving the best. I know my mom does. Do you Damn see it. her front yard and shit? Yeah. Yeah, but does she give good treats? We don't. She care gives about out what like a looking. bag of like a, a little bag of shit with like six candy bars. <laughs> a in little it. bag of shit. <laughs> yeah. Not Cole going to that house. Coal on Christmas and bags of shit on Halloween. <laughs> Microwave bags of shit. <laughs> like, oh, what's that candy bar smells? Must You're right. Got, must be melted chocolate in there. Yeah. yeah fuck the razor blades. They're getting a bag of dog shit. <laughs> His dad's just in the living room. Dropping just, the bags. Just, 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 just bags. Hey, we need more bags. I'm out of shit. He's honey. been eating tofu for days, <laughs> just waiting for Halloween. I'm out of shit. I can't. <laughs> oh, like no. one year, they didn't even let Broden out. Broden's feeding his dad while his dad's shit in the bags. His mom, they got like this Henry Ford, like <laughs> the whole line. Yeah, the assembly line of handing out bags of shit. Yeah. I just got something to say. I think he used to yeah, shoot bags. Uh, no, uh, yeah, He's like, saying. I was at that house. No, and hey, grandpa's right. in the uh, bat, bat or uh, the bathroom having a PTSD attack from World War II when they what? used to throw what? cannons of bags of shit a couple oh. episodes ago. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. When we had our oh, war yeah, episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting diapers full of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Broden's mom's handing out diapers to kids. <laughs> good. That's good a good idea if you, had a, if you had a daycare. 
Oh my goodness. What? Store all of your diapers if you're a daycare oh. owner. Yeah. And then for Halloween, you hand them out. That sounds gross. It's not as gross as a bag of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah, very similar, actually. I guess. <laughs> hey. Very. Never mind. I'll ask you after the podcast. Uh, now that you mentioned it, though, I want to be that house. I, I want to. I want to flex on everyone else on the block. Be like, this dude's handing out full size candy bars. Can I sit on the porch like as like a scarecrow, and then when kids walk up, I just can scare the shit out of them? Can I do that? You're not gonna be in town, are you? Yeah. Are you? He's back now. I think so no, he's you're leaving again this week. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be coming home every night. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. I guess. Oh, I want just like set the bowl in my lap. And then and I like cut a hole in the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> no, come on. Why'd no. you have to go there? <laughs> you've, you've, that's a full size candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you, pal. Oh, oh, they're only giving out the little ones at this house. The white, <laughs> white Captain Crunch. I guess so. Well, it's probably cold outside. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, just <laughs> their fun like, size. The kid grabs in there. He's like, "Oh, these are just the little ones." Hey, it's cold out. <laughs> like, <you> just <laughs> another laffy taffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly putty at this house. <laughs> I hated that when uh, houses wouldn't give up candy. <laughs> <laughs> when he reached a ball. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> no, you said. <laughs> I'd always get to the house with the oh, weird bowls. Yeah. I was like, I always got the bottom of the bowl for some reason. They dump out the candy when I came by. It was the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> some guys got mushrooms in here. Oh, no. Oh, God. There's an old Halloween wig in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Why'd Christ. you have to get there? I didn't even know what you were saying before that. You just set yeah. me up as a freaking alley oop. What were you talking know. about? I was hoping it would. Brun's going to sit there with a bowl in his lap. A bowl yeah. of candy in my lap. <laughs> okay. And then they would reach in there. I'd have like a sign on my chest. That uh, says. <laughs> this is pull hard. <laughs> pull my finger. Pull my <laughs> God, <laughs> I can't get a fucking word in edgewise around this joint. Pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Son of a bitch. You're going to sit there with the, be with the note on your chest. <laughs> This, is, Sign, not this idea uh, is now squash because I can't do it anymore. So, uh, no, I don't go know on, what it go is, on elaborate. I want to hear what you got to say. It, there ain't much more to say. You'd have a sign, you're gonna, yeah, yeah, and you're gonna sign that says this. take one or some shit, and, and then, then you'd scare him. Yeah, and I'd scare him, but uh, yeah, this seems like a bullshit idea. After. I like I like our first idea better. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> that doesn't sound as scary as what we were gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. Uh, anyway, okay. I think you got some more bullet points on that paper, don't you? Yeah. The Wonderlick family bags of shit and bowls of candy. <laughs> bowls of taffy. Bowls of taffy. <laughs> what? Of bowls taffy. of what? Bowls of taffy. Taffy. Uh, but yeah, no. Actually, now that you say that, I kind of want to do that yeah, too. Not, I don't know if there'd yeah. be enough kids coming down my neighborhood though, down my block. Cheaper for you, even better. You want to have yeah. a? You want? So my grandma and aunt used to do this. You want to count how many people come to our houses, and then we'll compare. And we have a competition. Okay. I'm going to have a shitload because I live right next to an elementary school. Ah, uh, What would you get though at your door? A candy? Would you do a candy bar, like a pop or like a whole meal? Meals, DoorDash? Well, I, I promise you this. If I'm going full-size cans of pop, they're getting Dr. Shasta. They're getting <laughs> they're getting the shit pop because it, it all tastes the same, damn it. Uh, You're yeah. happy to see whatever you get. And uh, Oh, yeah. Especially if it's a full can. It's yeah. full. Oh, yeah. Not the little bitty cans. The... The real. I'm going to give out two liter bottles of pop. <laughs> Christ, they're going to be texting all their friends. You got to get here now. She'll be like, hey, you got a dolly? I bring them in my garage. It's just a pallet of pop. Yeah. Go ahead and take your pick. Yeah. Cases. Nope, take a pallet. I think you should just, yeah, one kid just gets the ultimate prize of a lifetime. That and would you be You just nuts. give him yeah. like a case of pop. If, if you're counting, if you're keeping a tally, the, the, hundred, hundred, the hundredth winner. Hey, yeah. you were the hundredth kid. Boom. Here's a fucking case of Shasta and all like seven candy bars. I popped size. the garage. And Playboy Meg. Don't tell your parents. Got a fork. <laughs> That'd be I got a forklift team. All right. Load it up. Where's your truck, kid? Some Mr. Yeah. B shit. Yeah. You don't I have walked oh, here. Get you, your, your, oh, you your, don't have a truck? You miss out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Who's the next kid? <laughs> Some kid pulls up in a truck. I've been waiting for this all year. <laughs> I am 12. <laughs> He's wearing a costume. Doesn't fit him. Yeah. Uh, and then 1700s and 1800s, women performed rituals on Halloween in hopes of finding a husband. Really? So apparently it used to be a love holiday. 
where it was good to find your mate. Single ladies used to throw apple peels over their shoulders, hoping to see their future husband's initials in the shapes where they fell, which seems like the biggest snake oil salesman sham I've ever heard in my life. Dude, what? that goes right in there with horoscopes and all that shit. So apple, they'd, they'd peel the apples, throw the skins in the air, throw them over their shoulder. It would land on the ground. They'd mm-hmm. look at them and it was supposed to give you some initials. I think you could see whatever initials you wanted to. Yeah. How many yeah. apples are they throwing? Just the peels. Yeah, but like how many apples do you need to peel? Um, maybe probably just one. Just, I don't know. How big are the peels? Yeah. How big are the initials? How big is the apple? It doesn't matter how big the initials are. A K is still a K if it's one inch or a half inch. I get that. But what I'm saying is you're probably going to need a lot of peels to throw them over your shoulder and make some sort of defiant initials. You can't have one apple, peel it, throw it over your shoulder. It's going to be six peels laying on the ground. Maybe not. Maybe it's like the stars, like the Big Dipper. There's just six stars up there. We just connected uh, them. Maybe they, maybe they just go... Yeah. Say, all right, this is a, a T and uh, it might be a seven, but we'll we'll call it an H. <laughs> yeah, Tyler Hansen's like, God damn it. This sucks. Uh they also competitively bobbed for apples at parties, believing the winner would marry first. No, it's not done. That just bobbed. Okay. My bad. Uh no, you're good. Would marry first. So I always think uh bobbing for apples was a goofy thing to do i would never mm. do it i don't think but really i don't think i'd be good well, at it i want to yeah. try no. it i've never done it. i, I want to see i want to see you try it it seems like something you'd be good at for it some seems reason like a, seems like a weird fetish, i got bro. a lot of stuff up the sleeve what's up with you tonight huh <laughs> <laughs> so i want to see you, you bob it. for apples you, Liam. over the quarter <laughs> deeper get another one really reach for that apple get another. scratching his face like this just <laughs> get one yeah, I did get one. I don't know if I want you sleeping underneath me tonight. <laughs> Is that a red delicious? <laughs> no, it's uh no, the pink ladies are the best apples. I'm uh yeah, yeah, I think that's the one I, I go for. Yep. Red what's the other one? Uh, G- Gala Gala? A Fuji. Fuji. I, I like yep. a Fuji that's apple. A decent one. Uh Red Delicious Granny are Granny Smith. Granny Smith, yep. Red Delicious are the shittiest ones of all. Yep. Yeah. And then there's just the green ones. I think red delicious apples, they take them. And they just beat the shit out of them with a pan, and then they stick them on the shelf, <laughs> just covered, just battered and bruises. And then someone walks by and they're like, "Every time you're Fuck right." Yes, I was hoping for the mushiest apple in the city. The there it is. They always are too. The city. <laughs> and then they just eat it and love it somehow. And then they take the other half and make mashed potatoes out of it. That's yeah. What? What? Mashed potatoes. That's how mashed it is usually. You, how about applesauce? Mashed apples, yeah. Or <sighs> applesauce. That, that even too, yeah. yeah. See, so you didn't think of that either. Mashed. I apples didn't think are, of potatoes. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's mashed. It's the same. Con- this is an apple. Same texture. It's still an apple all the time. Yeah. yeah. Until it's not. What? Yeah. What? What draws <laughs> that line? When does an <laughs> apple stop being an apple? Like after you eat it and digest it, and it it's and then shit? you put it in. Uh, is it still bags for kids to come and grab at your house? <laughs> this is apple shit. It's probably better than regular shit. I can't imagine if you only ate apples, your shit would be better to hand out. Guess we'll find out here in a week. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be going over to your parents' house. Yeah. Hey, you remember when you were kids? Yeah. You guys still do that? <laughs> yep. Already know what we're Could I have about. a bag? <laughs> <laughs> one bag, please. One bag, please, actually. Can I take one for the road? Road bag. I need it for throwing at someone. Yeah. Uh, jack-o'-lanterns. Mm-hmm. You guys big jack-o'-lantern people? Do you carve pumpkins? You should. I used to. I have two of the greatest pumpkin carvings ever, I think. You definitely in Yeah, I have photos of them. Um definitely in a 700 mile radius. Jeez. For the last 5 years. It's a pretty healthy accusation oh. of yourself right there. Yeah. I'm going to have to see what this is now. Napoleon Dynamite. And That's pretty solid. Really. George Washington. So are you guys pumpkin people while I try to pull this up? Uh, I used to love carving pumpkins. Yeah. I haven't in a while, but. Well, because after we got done, we'd always oven bake the pumpkin seeds. Oh, I love pumpkin oh, seeds. all so good. I love oven Throw some salt seeds. and pepper on them. I was never mm-hmm. a big pumpkin seed kind of guy. I always really? like wanted to get into it. Like, I'm like, God, I want to be a pumpkin seed guy. I think they're really only good. Like if you buy the bags of them, like at the gas station. Eh. Yeah. But if you home make them, yeah. puts a little bit of seasoning on them or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. 
There's Holy Napoleon shit. There's wow. Napoleon Dynamite. That's How long did incredible. that take you? I don't have the patience for that. I'll A take few it. hours for sure. That's nuts. Right? That's Napoleon Dynamite. Nathan, give her a look. I'll throw it on the uh, episode for you guys listening to. Yeah. Don't show um, me the next one. I want to guess who it is. I already told you, but we'll yeah, see I if don't. you remembered it. <laughs> uh, George, yeah, George Washington. And uh, here's this one. That's, That's George solid. Washington. Is that with like a stencil and stuff? How, How do you, do you even do like that? get that so fine? Very meticulous. Oh uh, yeah, you got to. I don't even take like looking exactly at that. Bunch. Don't you have to shave the layers off? Like you don't even cut through. No, uh, some some areas are shaved down and some are through. Yeah, I I don't even know like what part to cut. Looking at that, to be honest, like I am not artistically. I don't know if I did either. In, intact in the brain. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. We, um, it sucks though. This it's, week? Keep them out front. We can. We have a three dudes uh, bonus episode of Carving Pumpkins. Mm. We post oh, on our YouTube channel. Yeah. I was thinking about that earlier, actually, when, it, when the weather was nice. I was like, you know what? For fun, we should do a three dudes golf outing. Go against each other and do something. Yeah. We can make it like anything. a whole. We could do, do it anything. It's a media company at this point with the with the podcast leading the ship. What did you say? That's the probably. the conductor of the crazy Yeah, the train. conductor of the crazy train. Yeah. yeah. Uh, podcast is our conductor of, of the media company, Three Dudes, Inc., there we not, go. It's not a thing yet, but jack o' lanterns. Uh, according to an old Irish legend, the practice of carving produce for Halloween comes from a man named Stingy Jack, who once invited the devil for a drink. Sneaky Pete. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Stingy, Stingy Pete? Jack. Stinky Pete, Jack. or was it Sneaky Pete? Sneaky Pete's. And that bar. Saying sne- yeah. Stinky. We stinky kept saying stinky. Stinky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was in Minneapolis. Yeah, is we this were like a there. revelation. Do yeah. you know? Yeah, I remember. Like, I was there. I remember that. That's yeah. where this was birthed. Yeah, it was. We gave birth and, to this and podcast. route to Minneapolis. Yeah, and it was brainchild on that trip. Mm-hmm. So apparently, there's this old mythical. What's it called? What's the we went back and forth on this on a previous episode, like a a folk's tale or a, a, a wives' a fable, tale. some type of story where this guy would invite the devil for a drink, and he tricked him like three or four times. Eventually, he didn't trick the devil. The devil caught on, and he said, okay, for the rest of eternity, you have to roam around and all you have is one eternal light. You get one light. So then that's kind of how the light and the pumpkin came about. I don't know. I didn't get the full story, but that's, it comes from a guy named Stingy Jack. They placed the light in them to ward off evil spirits and keep Stingy Jack away. So that's what the So it's like Halloween Santa kind of Stingy Jack is. Yeah. in, In a sense. Yeah, I like that analogy actually. Halloween hmm. Santa, Stingy Jack, not as cool. Probably a lesser beard. Maybe Doesn't not as fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The fat slander. <laughs> Probably doesn't have many elf friends. No. No. Definitely t- doesn't have a wife that bakes him cookies. Little to none. Definitely uh, isn't kissing my mom underneath <laughs> the mistletoe, son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Stingy Jack might have been doing other things. God, I fucking mom. hate Santa. <laughs> you want a beer? Huh? No, I was saying. Ah, uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I got you now. Uh, trick or treating? I always start tearing up during these episodes, <laughs> dude. I laugh so hard. It's not dude. even like I'm bald. A, I was bald. It's not even like I'm bald. laughing that much. It's just constant, like anxious that a joke's coming. <laughs> <laughs> just can't wait. I know you're always on edge saying something, especially around this guy. I know. Yeah. You can't be around this guy, you know. Oh, f- you just like there, you say there something. You sit, huh? I screwed up in context. You go. Yep. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that one. That was a layup for him. That's all right. Uh, Trick-or-treating skyrocketed in popularity by the 1950s when Halloween became a true national event. Today, over 179 million Americans celebrate the holiday and spend about $9.1 billion annually in the process. So there's a huge market for Halloween. Mm -hmm. But I suppose you think about the candy and the costumes. I think there's $370 million spent on pet costumes. Oh, oh, God. Would you guys ever put your pets in a costume? No. Well, mm. what kind of pet is it? A, a dog. dog. <laughs> Any, a lemur. Are you more likely to put a, a, a snake into a costume than a dog? Uh, I'm trying to think of what Just costume you put in. on a snake. What, what is he? The zero? Oh, he's a PVC pipe. <laughs> 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 Just put a PVC pipe <laughs> around a, a snake. Yeah. What is he? What's PVC pipe? He's my plumbing this year. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take a shit in him. 
It's my pee trap, actually. He's uh-huh. a noodle. Just put a piece of linguine on him. <laughs> he's a noodle. Just wrap him noodle. in bacon. Ah, yeah. oh, he's a pig in a blanket, actually. A snake in a blanket. Snake in a blanket. I don't know. Uh, what if you just put him in a bun? Big hot dog? Yeah. One you know what? Dog? He's a Chicago There's, dog. Dude, after, this air, after, after we air this episode, the market for snake <laughs> costumes is going to skyrocket. <laughs> How many people have pet snakes? I don't trust people with pet snakes, first of all. Oh, dude. We know a guy that has the biggest snake in the state. Yeah. Maybe in the region. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he also has a reptile in the cage. <laughs> he also just picked up, actually, a uh, uh, snake to have in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, they they had to, it, man. they had to quit feeding it <laughs> mice. They had to start feeding it whole cats. like rats. No, not cats. <laughs> it probably won't be fucking long though. No, it like how big how big is the cage? It's, it's like probably a, the corner of this room. Yeah, it's it's probably like eight feet long. Oh, so it's like or a, ten feet long by four feet oh, wide. It's long. Oh, I thought you were talking about. The oh, snake. so it's like a. <laughs> God bless him. I mean, what? Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like something you'd go to a zoo type yes. cage. Dude, it is. He's, he has tried selling it to a zoo. And dude, I, the I reptile think they just won't take it. The reptile gardens offered him like three grand for it. Never mind. They will take it. <laughs> no, he won't get rid of them. But and he, he said, fuck. Yeah. No. Yeah. My snake. Dude, it's and this it's, year. I'm putting it in a pool noodle. <laughs> <laughs> this year, he's a pipe cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> Cover him in bristles. <laughs> Why it is like it's like eighteen feet long or he something like that, and like, like a hundred and thirty pounds. What did it? What did he buy it at? He bought it as just a little guy uh, from a pet store. I think hey, the gardener snake. He's like fuck, this turned into something. Yeah, he's like, I never this, I'm just gonna keep this in a little fish bowl, and then all of a sudden, this thing is taking up half his house. Yeah. I heard things grow to the atmosphere you give them, though. They, oh, so wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go as a chinless man for Halloween. <laughs> Uh, you want to get him a? We don't even have uh, a rag. Yeah, it's there's some paper towels in the she goes. in that room over there. Yeah, I, there's some right here. I can grab him some. Don't walk in front of the camera. Uh, really yeah, no. He'll get some. He. Oh. We got some. There's some in the kitchen. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought spilling yeah. down. Uh, but yeah. So he bought it as a little guy. I think. Yeah, as I a little th- guy. I, I love it. It's actually so a funny. female snake. Um, oh, thank so you. a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> Just the is just a little guy, but I've, isn't that a thing where if you buy a pet for reptiles, they yes. fill the area of like where they are. Like yeah. They don't overgrow their enclosures. So yeah. if you give him a backyard, he's gonna be big. Yeah, or she. You want to yeah. keep it in case another spill. Yeah, like ig- like uh, chameleons and like iguanas and bearded dragons. Like if you give them a little cage, they won't get that big. But if you give them like a whole room as an enclosure, they get huge. That's a cool experiment. We should try see how big we can get an animal. Just start beefing up a, a little cow full of steroids, get him huge. <laughs> like, why do you guys have world's that? World's biggest cow. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have that? We he just, just walks up and he goes, "Moo!" He's how see. fucking big we could get this thing. <laughs> so you bought fifteen acres for him? Yeah, it's all his. It's yeah, this nuts. pig is huge. It's gonna be he's nuts. Got, <laughs> he's got fists for hooves. Yeah, I know you're talking about the fucking family, family guy. Episode. Yeah, and he, again, he goes. He's like, "Oh, Boink. this is my pig." Yeah, and the pig comes up. It's just jacked. He's got fists for hooves and everything, and he goes. Oink. <laughs> yeah, we should. That's an experiment we could do. Find it on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash three dudes. We're going to beef up some animals. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> revealers couldn't just show up on a doorstep and demand candy. They had to entertain for it. I was going to start making the kids do that. <laughs> it's trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah, but trick or treat. Ah. But yeah, that's you giving them one or the other, though. So do you have, you have to, that's them saying trick or treat. And then you either give them a treat or you trick them. Did you guys say trick or treat? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you you to, yeah. By law, you have to, <laughs> you can't legally take candy from a stranger. Yeah. If you don't say that you're under obligation to say trick or treat when they open the door. Or that's else. yeah. That's why. When, what else do you can say? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to go, happy up to, Halloween, sir, ma'am. Yeah. When I used to go up to unmarked white vans, when I was younger, I would always say trick or treat. And then I was allowed to, Take the candy they were Then I was allowed yeah. to go for a free ride. Yeah, and they're always like, trick. And then they trick me into getting into their van. <laughs> they always do. Yeah. And they're then, smart. Uh, next thing you know, they get candy in there too. So they're how both. would you... So when worlds collide, you know? What would you do if somebody said, no, entertain, do something? To, God damn it. But If they said like dance? Yeah. 
Guess I'd be doing a little jig. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be on their porch. Those little but no, like, what league. if they just said, you know, wow me, do something. What what would you do? <laughs> you know, <laughs> probably pull a quarter out from out behind their ear. Okay. No, you wouldn't. Like right now? You're not trick-or-treating right now. How the fuck would you do that? You wouldn't know how to do that when you're nine. Yeah, I learned it when I was nine in case someone asked me that. I shut up. I didn't actually. I don't, I don't know what I would do. It. I would probably. Would you tell a joke or something? I wouldn't have any jokes on spot. I'd have to dance. Yeah, that's you know, the you first know, thing you, know you would do. All little kids dance. Like they just they just move their body and they just they're just they're just doing <laughs> they're something. They have no, yeah, they're just doing something. You're like, oh, cool, man. <laughs> See him at a wedding. <laughs> kids run up. Watch this. <laughs> and it's just something goofy, and, and then just like, scoot away. Yeah, run away again. Yeah, nice. I mean, I think it'd be even better if you judge them, but you'd give them candy if it was good enough. Like they did a dance and it sucked, and you're like. And if it was really good, work, they sorry. get a can of pop. Yeah, it's like next kid. Yeah, next. But you just have an audition shitty. line. Yeah, they got to pull from that bowl on the scarecrow over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See that Why? guy sitting over there? <laughs> go take from him. You don't want to dance? You go reach in that bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and then as they're walking away, they get pelted with that bag of shit from my mom. <laughs> Your mom's on the roof. <laughs> just, yeah. Wait, what the fucking sling it? Should have danced, kid. Yeah, she's sitting up there going, no Fortnite costumes, and just hits him with a steaming bag of poo. <laughs> oh, my how God. unfortunate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'd probably dance. Would you dance? Yeah, I'd have to. I I, I wouldn't be able to think of any jokes on the spot like that. I, I, my hands would be tied. I'd I think it'd be a matter of what's going on in my life. That time, maybe I was just like YouTubing new card tricks or something, and I was dressed as a magician. I don't know. Really? Hang on, now that you brought it up. What did you guys go for as Halloween when you were kids? Remember one year he went as a blind referee and had the stick and everything. And he smacked the shit out of me all night with that (laughs) thing. He just absolutely the brakes off me. That's great. It was good. I went as like, you know, those like inflatable costumes, like to make you look really fat. I went as that once or twice. I think you went as that one. I can't even remember, dude. Like when you were little? Yeah. All I I I remember is that I knew that I went as a ninja, like Four or five years in a row. I wore the same costume four or five years in a row, dude. I I wanted to be a ninja so bad. Every year I was like, let's go. <laughs> oh, I was a uh, mutant ninja turtle one time. I was Leonardo, I think. Kind of the same. Yeah. You'd show up at parties and be like, ah, Liam, nice costume. Again, with the ninja. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again. Say, yeah, I'd say, can't believe you saw me. <laughs> Trick or treat. Oh, you saw me walk in? <laughs> <laughs> so throwing, throwing stars at people's throats. Yeah. That's your trick? Shurikens. Shurikens. Nobody's safe. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what I went as a kid, but I went as a cowboy a couple years ago. Yo, what did you? What have you gone as an adult? I know Broden Forrest won, Gump. Broden won my Halloween Forrest costume Gump, last year. Great. Forrest Gump. I should have. Last year I went as Freddie Mercury. Your yeah. costume was underrated that night. Too bad Freddy, you were yeah. hosting. Taped on. Yeah, you can't really win when you host. Yeah, I would have returned the grill. Just taking the money. Yeah, I just <laughs> left. I had a grill. Came out you even. Returned it. I had one. Yeah. The griddle? You didn't have the... I have a Blackstone full size in my backyard. Nice. Was yours free? Weird Mine flex. Was, oh. uh, yeah. Mine was free. Yeah, it was free. Yours Mine was, was also free. That's I got crazy. it for Christmas Damn. from my parents when I bought my house. But uh, yeah, I was Freddie Mercury. I had uh, hair taped on my chest. It kept coming out. Yeah, Slick that. back hair. Tugged down a few... Uh, yeah. <laughs> tugged down a few guys. I went. <laughs> you really got into the costume. Yeah, really. It's yeah, Halloween. No. Anything goes. No, I stopped. Anything, I stopped. Anything goes. You were a founding father. No, no. Me and my ex girlfriend went as the guy and girl from uh, Handmaid's Tale. Uh no. Fuck, man. What is that movie? You look like a pilgrim. I looked. I looked, dude. I I was dedicated. I even. I thought my, you were a vampire the whole night. No, I shaved my chin hair. I was dedicated. I was wearing yes. my mom's boots that go up to my knee for the. Yes. <laughs> for the Trust me. Thing. When he walked in the door, this was like an hour and a half when the party had already started, and he walked in, and I was. I was wearing a blouse. I bust out gut laughing. Yeah. I could not handle it. <laughs> it you was were wearing fucking, a blouse. Like an I was. Austin I was Powers. wearing a fucking blouse, dude. <laughs> like it was Austin. perfect. An Austin Powers blouse. It's something from like Downton Abbey or something. It's close. It's about that same era. Queen's Gambit. Dude, I want to say it's it's not the Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice. That's what it is. is? Pride and Prejudice. Yes. (laughs) Hey, (laughs) that's what it is. Dude, finally. We found it. Yeah, thank you. Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, Yeah, that was. It was solid. It was was solid because I had just just bought this overcoat too. I had found it at the thrift store. 
Solid. I love thrift. Oh, yeah. I love thrift. You can find some good finds oh, there. It's crazy. Uh, so this episode, uh, I guess it's coming out before Halloween, but do you, I know what you're going to be following. Do you know yet? Uh, Cindy just texted me the other day. Do and, you want to spill it? And you know, why not? Who gives a shit? Uh, she goes. Maybe then people watch the episode and then they see us and they won't be surprised. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea. Oh, I know what I'm going as. Yeah, yeah, you better. You just got the package in the mail the other day. Yeah. Uh, no. So Cindy texted me and she goes, are you going to be Theo Vaughn for Halloween? And I was like. Fuck, that's genius. Yeah, <laughs> so there you go. Nice. I could just get to wear casual clothes and then walk around, and she might cricket me a shirt that says, I'm Theo Vaughn or something like that. There you go. So, Does she have a cricket? Yeah. Can she do it on a hat? I don't know. Can they do that? I tried to order a subway hat. It's part of my costume, and it oh, takes a while to doing? get. Hey, who, 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 yeah, this could go really Don't, out, don't do what I think you might do. You're not going to be Jared, are Please you? Please don't be no. Jared. Okay, okay, good. Walk around with huge pants. I don't know. Well, then, if you were going to be Jared, then you'd probably dress up as a scarecrow and sit on the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> Considering no, uh, the caddy from Happy Gilmore. I'm going to wear one shoe. I'm going to nice. eat crackers all night and wash golf clubs. The caveman from yeah. Geico, you mean? That yep. guy? Mm-hmm. So that's the plan. I don't know. I haven't thought of any other, yeah. any other I always, costumes to wear. That's why I went as a cowboy the other year. I was like, oh, fuck, I can wear jeans and some boots and a flannel and a coat. So. Easy. Right, right after Halloween, I always think, God, I'm gonna get my Halloween costume early this year, and then I'm a week out, and I'm like, no costume. Way to go, Ethan! You did it again. That's what I thought about being. Uh... I well, you think of that. I God. took about thirty minutes to decide and put together my costume last year, and somehow was voted the best costume. Yeah, I, I hate rigged. you for that. Yeah, I really hate you for that. It was good though. I it was spot on. It no, it was spot on. You look great. But and I'm even like stupid, so fuck, I it poured, really helped. I know I poured so much into that. Costume I think that. it was me acting. That, yeah, that too, that, me that, doing that my stuff. Did it. Uh, this is my boat. Yeah, <laughs> my boat. I just, I just felt like running. <laughs> I must Jeffrey have drank. Oh yeah, that's what I thought about. I was, yeah, I was like, fuck, I'll get an Amazon right now. But you, imagine, people are gonna imagine, imagine, yeah, exactly. How many people are gonna be Dahmer this year? But you know, what do you do? You got Jared from Subway, Jeffrey Dahmer. What am I gonna be? Like Michael R. Fick. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Just, try, just not. walk around and piss on everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. Why not? <laughs> and sing R and B. Yeah, I love R and B. Um. So back in the day, okay, we talked about that one. No child has ever been randomly poisoned by a stranger on Halloween, at least in recorded history. So that fallacy that kids are getting check your kids' Halloween candy. There's yeah. fentanyl in there. It's nobody's gonna give out yeah. fentanyl pills. It's a lot yeah. free. No, exactly. We're like, oh, someone, someone was handing out weed edibles for Halloween this year. Nobody that smokes weed is going to hand out their own edibles. <laughs> yeah. You fucking crazy. Here you go. Here yeah. you go. Uh, they might the, mix it up. They might be they like, might oh, accidentally, shit. but Flipped they're not going to the bag. do my favorite memes. Like check your kids Halloween candy. I found this in there and it's like a whole tank or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah like I got a, that saved on my phone. I found an M482 <laughs> German tank in my kids <laughs> fucking bag of nerds. <laughs> bag of nerds. Yeah, it's just, what it's was just the... Uh, in it was one of the Call of Duty games. It was a big knife, the Bowie, Bowie knife? knife. Bowie knife, yes. Yeah, with the, with the bo- knuckles around. It. Yeah, put a Bowie knife in someone's Snickers. <laughs> yeah, what is this? I don't know. It was weird. I don't know how that got there. I don't know how I got there. Take, uh, it must be candy. They yeah. accidentally Take a bite. bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Who does it inside your cheeks? Uh, 1974, an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> an eight-year-old what? An eight. <laughs> In 1974, an eight-year-old boy in Houston, Texas, died after eating a pixie stick laced with cyanide. Damn. His father, who had recently taken out a hefty life insurance policy on both his son and daughter, was later convicted of his son's murder. Oh, no. Wow. That's... Tried to kill his daughter, too. She didn't, she didn't eat the treat. So this was one of two recorded instances where kids died from Halloween candy. This one was obviously the father. The other one is in 1970... A five-year-old Detroit boy died after ingesting a large amount of heroin. The drug was found sprinkled on his candy hall, but it was later discovered that the family put it in there to throw off investigators. In reality, the boy uncovered his uncle's heroin stash and mistakenly ate it, tragically dying from an overdose. My goodness. Jesus. Yeah, heroin's not something you really want. What a trip that last few minutes would have been. Like as a... Like that kid was on something. He's like, this is the greatest candy I've ever I eaten. want Snickers every year. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to yeah. get it next year, kid. God, Enjoy this while it lasts. Yeah, that would suck. 
Yo, right? Um, yeah, so that's, this dark. This, this is yeah. This just took a wild turn in the last five minutes. It's, Nothing's off limits. Who would have thought the Halloween episode would go down these rabbit holes? <laughs> Halloween movie series. You guys seen any of the movies? Like, like Michael Myers? Like just yep. in general? I think there's tons I can't of them. There's yeah. I've seen can't tons of movies. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> No, no like, I mean, uh, like Halloween movies. I'm no. like, yeah, tons of them. I think there's, I want to say 17. In the Michael Myers? Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. You want to get that for us, Nathan? Who's, How many are in the, the Halloween? Who's your favorite, like, scary, like, Halloween movie type villain? <sighs> I don't know. I think I was more scared of Jason Voorhees than I was Michael Myers. Yeah. That makes sense. But I don't know. I don't watch a ton of Halloween movies. I watch a lot of scary movies. I haven't seen movies. it. Like, what are some other ones? Freddy Kr- Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Uh, it. How many Mike Myers movies? Yeah. 13. 13. So 13. Kind of not 17. There's 13 of them. Crazy. There's a lot of Friday the 13th ones too, aren't there? Um, yeah. Seven or something. The chainsaw, yeah. yeah. No, that's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Friday the 13th is Jason Voorhees, is it not? Yes. Yeah. So Michael I think Myers those were Halloween. those were the scariest ones for me. Like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Is that a Halloween movie though? Yeah, it's scary. I mean, like... Well, yeah. <laughs> what? Scary, yeah. Okay. I, I don't guess know. that makes it Children of the movie. Corn was scary. No, it? it wasn't. I've never seen it. Movie is Have awful. you never? No. Oh, it's so bad. Maybe it's I'm bad. thinking of it's... Silence of the Lambs. That could be scary. I don't know. Have I, you seen I, that? I haven't seen that. Should Maybe we watch have. it? Should we have a. We should do One a, of these nights now that Broden's in town, night. one night we'll yeah. start at like seven, watch Get like four. See how many. Get popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. As we do for movie nights. So excited. Swinging his ass. I love popcorn in movies. We could Bull will be on my lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? We're going to have some caramel corn. <laughs> <laughs> Please get that checked. <laughs> no, not, no. Just wow. Sticky popcorn. Good God. Bro, you should be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Someone not shot you in this room yet. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Nathan not pulled out a gun. <laughs> I don't, you, you started it. I did. Yeah. And you continued it. <laughs> you got to ride it out now. Oh, I mean, oh. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. Just like that. The instigator. Yeah. Um. So a Halloween movie series, 13 of them. Halloween is an American slasher media franchise. That's franchise. That's the word I was looking for. That consists of th- 13 films. Wow, it's right here. Why don't you check that real quick? Yeah, thanks for the research, though, Nathan. Make it feel important. Uh, as well as novels, comic books, a video game, and other merchandise, the films primarily focus on Michael Myers, who was committed to a sanitarium as a child for the murder of his sister, Judith Myers. Did you know that? There, so apparently there's a, there's a trilogy. The third one just came out this year. Halloween ends. They kill him. Fun I think, fact. I think they've been trying to do that. Which is in my notes right here. No one is legally allowed to kill Michael Myers. What? A contract lawyer worked into the deal that the producer remains the right to never kill off the character. Damn. So they can't kill him unless the producer says, yeah, sure. So they had a they had a conversation that said, if the audience thinks he's dead, and he looks dead, but he's not dead. Is that good enough? And I think the producer just said, sure. So technically, he can always revive the character. I think in one of the middle movies, I haven't seen them all. I think I've maybe seen one of them. I, one, of, one of the middle movies, he apparently died at the, one that, at the end of one of them. And then the next movie, it shows that he killed some guy. Or no, switched costumes with some guy. And then they killed that guy. So then he was still alive. So they always find these workarounds. They are just life. beating the shit out of this mm-hmm. dead horse of a franchise. Yeah. You never, you, sometimes you just, you, you just can't just, it's beat like off a dead shark. horse. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Sharknado or, you know, stuff like that. Like stop making <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it? Yes. yes. Oh, I God. tried just moving past it. God. That's a funny saying. That I can't remember who said that. There was a buddy I had in Canada. He used to always say that. Seems about par for that course. <laughs> Originally, the film Halloween was going to be called Babysitter Murders. What a horrible. What? Babysitter Murders. Yeah, well, the first film, he's following around this babysitter. Yeah. So it's going to be Babysitter Murders. And it, uh, the producer in, initiated the concept of setting the film on the holiday itself. Uh, so that's where he was like, well, just call it Babysitter Murders. And then someone told him, well, it's on Halloween, so just call it Halloween. And 
Next thing you know, it's a cult classic. Why are you chuckling? God, it is. Big cult classic. I don't even know what that means. A yeah, big movie guy over here. Cult classic means like everyone's seen it. Everyone watches it. Everyone talks about it. I think. I don't really even know. Good enough for me. You're supposed to know. I know. I should know. I'm the movie guy here. Um, the film took 21 days to film. Which is you, you can it shows which one it shows extremely the, the first, first one, one yeah extremely low yeah. budget and short I don't know if I've ever seen the first one it was in I, nineteen I feel like they all knows. take twenty one days to film you don't like any of them I think they're so cheap what was maybe the, the first few few Halloween of them were good for you it for sure yeah, yeah. the old probably the older one the newer one was too comedic and like too well done no too like polished. They tried to polish a turd. They tried to make like have a lot of comedic relief. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, and he didn't it, like it. Yeah, and it was like it's supposed to be scary. I'm not supposed to be laughing at this kid. Like, so I have not actually seen the new one. I was it's gonna good. Wa- I was gonna watch it last night. There's a new one coming out next year. Ooh, or like how I think it's called How It Began or something like that. How it began. Did you know I'm filming a horror film tomorrow night? Really? Yep. What's Which, it on? by the way, I'm struggling to find an actor. Still? Yeah. He's let me know pretty late there. I know, but I can, I'll find someone. Even if I have to do it, I can. Yeah. And then just have someone else shoot it. What's, what are you filming? The premise of the film. So for those of you guys that want to watch it and listen to the podcast, it'll be out by Halloween. It is, you can only see this person through glass. So Liam's read the script. Um, and cause Liam was going to be the guy. So basically this chick lives alone. She's looking out the front door. She sees this guy, looks out the door, can't see the guy. Looks back through the window, can see him. Looks back out the door, can't see him. Now he's gone. And then he gets into the house. I don't want to spoil the plot, but basically you can only see him through glass. So then she holds, she can see him through a mirror. She can see him through like a broken piece of glass of a picture frame and like flash it in front of her eyes and then it's gone and then it's there and then it's gone. That kind of thing. What the hell? Yeah. That sounds terrifying actually. I like that. So that's... Mm -hmm. And then, like, things are happening in the house. Was Liam going to be the murderer? He's going to be the guy, yeah. Oh, but sweet. we have to film it at night. So he obviously has to wake up at 530. Um, but maybe we could uh, you film do? your stuff first. That's what I was wondering. Like, whatever yeah. I don't need to be there for, we yeah, we do. And I'm going to do all of the all of the uh, scheduling re- stuff. really tomorrow, hard so. to, like, edit and put together. The edit's going to be the easy part. It's all the practical stuff. Because if if the figure's standing here, but you can only see him, like if I'm holding up a piece of glass, you can only see him there. Then I got to almost like mask around the glass so you can't see him outside of the glass. Right. So that's what will be the challenge. But I'm excited to uh, excited I can't to try wait it. for like as soon as like the glass comes up, he runs out from behind yeah. the door and he's standing there and she as she's putting it down, Liam's running through <laughs> back behind the wall or something. You want to come? You can come tomorrow. I, yeah. I'll if you come. want. I mean, you and can come. I'll, Take some phone videos, document it. Yeah, a little bit. I can be behind the scenes guy you can for be you. The person. There you go. What time do you have to wake up on Tuesday? Uh, probably about five thirty. Ah, great. <laughs> How much do you value your sleep? I don't. Less than yeah, <laughs> Liam. I do. Um, but yeah, we're looking for a makeup artist so we can do some scary ass face. Oh shit! I could do that. You can cut hair, but I don't know if I can trust you on the makeup side of things. Yeah, probably don't. Um. So one of the assistants who was actually tasked with, so in the movie, they, it was not shot during fall. So they had a bunch of fake leaves they had to put around the movie. And the guy that was actually doing the fake leaves ended up being Freddy Krueger in uh, on Nightmare on Elm Street. Really? Crazy, That's how he huh? got his in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the last uh, note I have on the Halloween movie is stuntman Dick Warlock was cast as Michael Myers in Halloween 2 by being creepy. Do you think they read that his name? Sucks. <laughs> yeah, first of all. Dick Warlock? I couldn't. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said after you said that name. <laughs> is I it say, all I, focused on? Yeah, I was like, oh you my. sure it's not Richard Warlock? It probably is, but Dick is another name for Richard. He That's goes true. by Dick Warlock. So. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? I guess. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? And of course, he's a stunt man. <laughs> he's Dick <Yeah>. Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Richard Wizard. Actually, let's just go by Dick Warlock. You yeah. Know? One in the same. <laughs> but how horrible <laughs> would that be to like, God, we need someone else to be like, Hey, that guy's super weird. <laughs> like, Wait, I hey, got come this, over here for a second. I got What's your this, name, man? Dick. I got this buddy. We don't talk to him very much, but we see him really like weird. a grocery store here and there. It's pretty fucking weird. Yeah. What do you think he'd be down to do this? Do this show? Well, his name's Dick Warlock, so I think he'd be down to do it. For anything. sure, yeah. He lives this movie in real life. Like, <laughs> yeah. yes, cast him. 
some of the most popular Halloween costumes. We're going to go from year 2000 to 2019. You guys want to guess? Or you just want me to read the most popular one every year? Yep. Okay. Scream. So 2000. Oh, damn. My bad. Uh, no, I tried to get one of like of all time and there's nothing documented. That's like the most popular costume of all time. And I it's in a lot of it's like witches, a ghost. It's like, yeah, but it's not like a. Everyone's doing this. Yeah. Like, like, like this year cool. would be like Dahmer, like because everyone's. Yeah. So in the year out. 2000, yeah. I'm going to say Scream 2 in 2000. That's about when that movie came out, ain't it? It's, I have no idea. It is Austin Powers. Really? It, really? Yeah. Oh, God, That's man. sweet. And this really list amazing. is like very subjective because I found a different list and some of the years were different, but I just went with the first list. Yeah. Perfect. Whatever. Uh, 2001. Austin Powers again. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Harry Potter and Hermione. Is that Hermione. You, Hermione. Hermione Granger. I never watched Harry Potter. I wasn't a Harry Potter guy. Me either. Really? No. I, never watched, game I watched the movies. I never read the books. No. Never did well, either. If you don't read the books, then you miss it. I don't care. <laughs> Shut, yeah, people. Yeah, I'm, here, I'm, I'm, I'm here to. I'm here to get in and get out. Two hours. Boom. Show yeah. me what you got. I want to read this book for the next year of my life. I don't need 22 hours to figure out the story. Yeah. yeah. Crunch it down into a visual production. Make it look cool. I'm in. Yeah. 2002, who was also a 2007 winner. Damn. What happened? It's big. It's a movie. 2000. It's a movie. Um. Big movie in 2002. I don't know. And 2007. Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh Spider-Man, nice. yep. 2003? Spider-Man. Nope. It's a pirate. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain yep, Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. 2004 TV show, cartoon. Johnny Bravo. Nope. Good guess. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Nope. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ooh. Damn. 2005. More hints. Sci-fi movie. Star Trek. X-Files. Close. Star Wars. Yeah, Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Uh, I wonder which uh, Star Wars came out in 2005. Don't know. Never watched. Uh, 2006 them. presidential candidate. Dick Cheney? No. 2006. George Washington. Washington. Election. George Washington. George Washington. David, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say George Bush. <laughs> he wasn't in 2006 either. I don't know. He was in 2002. What's that? Bush? 2004. 2001. 2000. 2000. 2000 was the vote. 2001 was... 2000, 2004. Barack? Yeah. Yeah, it was Obama. In 2006. Obama was the most popular costume. In 2006. I don't know if, don't know if we can do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. According to this. Yeah. Uh, 2008, a movie character from a trilogy. And there's just one recently released. Mm. Boba Fett. No. Damn. Uh, the Joker. Oh. Uh, yep. 2008, so that, I wonder, Bat Dark Knight, Batman Begins, yeah. or Dark Knight, I think, might have the been Dark 2008. Dark Knight Rises. Something like, the really famous one, yeah. the biggest uh, one. The one with Christian Bale. Christian Bale and Maggie Gyllenhaal, is that her the, name? Who played the Joker? What's Heath? the guy's name? Heath, Heath Ledger. Ledger. Was that the 2008 Come film? On. I think so. Or was that a 2012? I think that was 2008. 2009? I don't know. Uh, 2009. This one's stupid. You won't get it. Vampires. Just vampires. So, uh, Twilight was probably pretty big. Yeah, back probably. Then. Yeah. 2010 pop singer, female. Beyonce. Nope. She's white. Kesha. Nope. Really good guess. Oh, damn. Taylor Swift. You want to guess? That, I was going to say no. that too. Lady Gaga. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. 2011, a TV show, reality TV show. It's a guy and a girl. Based on the East Coast. 2011? 2011, yep. Um, I don't Full know. House? No. Snooky and the Situation. Oh, oh, damn. The Situation. 2012. Marvel movie. Thor. Iron Man. No. Avengers. Captain America? Both are. No, just the Avengers. Oh. Any Avengers, yeah. Uh, 2013, Twerking Teddy. You probably never would have got that one. Apparently, don't know Miley Cyrus is. dressed up. As a teddy bear and twerked on Robin Thick at the CMAs or VMAs or something like that. Uh, so that was a thing. 2014, a cartoon. Little girls like it. My Little Pony? No. Frozen. Fro uh, no. 2015. Um, a An ex-Olympic athlete turned political figure. The swimmer. No. Is it like the bobsled dude? 
No. Oh. Google Runnings? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Google Runnings, the Jamaican <laughs> bobsled team. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, 2016. Not even going to give you any hints for this one. We have to know. 2016. Was my senior was year. Was that like Cardi B or something? No. 2016. What happened in 2016? That was pretty. Oh, Donald Trump. Yeah. It would have been Donald Trump. Trump. Yep. 2017, Hocus Pocus. And then back-to-back champs in 2018 and 2019. Had to have been Fortnite costumes. Yep. Yeah. Fortnite. God, those kids. Which is crazy. They had, a, they had a hell of a run. They had a hell of a run. Fortnite did. Uh, a couple crazy things that have happened on Halloween, except for the first one, because I just put it in the wrong spot. But I wanted to talk about it. This is a story. I think it happened relatively close to Halloween, though, and it's called the Architect's Key. Mysterious key left on the dresser with drawers open and Jack fit. Okay, so that's my notes on to tell the story because I didn't write down the whole story. But basically, there's this man that lived in the house. And he lived there for a bunch of years. Whatever, fine dude. Nothing wrong with the dude. He ends up dying. A new family buys the house, moves into the house. And everything's good. And they started seeing a couple weird things. And they're like, oh, this is weird. And then they went downstairs and the old man had a study, which I always like the name study. Like it's like a little well, office, office or a library, yeah. you know, an office with books. That's right. I love, you know I, mean? I love to think about pondering an orb that, that makes me so happy. Like, we, a, like a wizard pondering an orb. They can just see things. <laughs> They're just sitting there. I guess. That's what next. Are they in a study? Did they do that in a study? Probably. Why not? They're just surrounded by did. books. You know, you're sitting there, you're on your, on your chair, you're, you're looking at your orb. And enchanting like, table. Yeah. Enchanting table. Uh, yeah. So basically. They went down to the study, and then they had a jacket that needed to be fixed. They took it to all these tailors, and all the tailors said, can't be fixed. Jacket's ruined, right? They went down into the study. They were trying to find if there was some stuff where they could fix this jacket. All the drawers were locked, and they couldn't find a key, so they ended up setting the jacket on the table. Next day, they went downstairs. Jacket was fixed. A key was set on top of the jacket. All the drawers were open, and the jacket was completely fit. Dun, dun, dun. Seems yeah. like something you can fabricate so easily. No, man. it's real. I read it. <laughs> oh, it was Shit. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. You got me. So that's the architect's key. I feel yeah. like we're on the opposite end of a lot of things. You love to believe it. I love to go, that's bullshit. That's, yeah, Why wouldn't you believe that? That's so cool. If that happens. It's really hard for me to believe that. Yeah. I'm Why? Too realistic. Why? <laughs> too, too realistic. Yeah. I'm pretty too- sure if a ghost was a ghost, like he's not going to fix jackets. A good ghost. Like Casper? Could be a good ghost, yeah. yeah. I don't know, like, like, you know, like a guardian angel kind of deal. Okay, yeah. so if you if you die, well, you will. <laughs> but <laughs> if you die one day, you, you, die, damn, you will. You will. I'm uh, going to kill you. But okay, so <laughs> after you die, if when you be, if you become a ghost, what would you do? Would you fuck with people or would you be cool with people? And you can, cool and you can only are, pick one. Oh, I was going to say both. I'd fuck. Nah. Uh, nah, I think I'd just like to one. be a fly on the wall By in being, a lot of places. By being cool with people, what does being cool mean? Like, am I helping out with things like this, Not or am I just with them? Yeah, like fixing jackets, man. Yeah, like yeah, if I'm like if, if they're if they're work. about to knock over a cup or something full of fluid, then you you you, you keep it on the table or something like that. Yeah, no, I'm fucking with people. I'm fucking with people all day. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do either. You have to. oh, well, I want to be like I want to like go in. To like the Oval Office and see what the hell is really going on somewhere. You know what? Like, for example, you can do that and fuck with them in there. Yeah. But if I start fucking with them, they're gonna like be Kick like, oh, something's yeah, something's crazy <laughs> is going on here. No, they're not. They're gonna call it, Bill Murray no. and my ass is gas. It can be <laughs> so <laughs> subtle. You can be in the Oval Oval Office and you can just make their pen not work. They're sitting there, every pen seventeen. They've gone through seventeen <laughs> pens and none of them are fucking working. They're like, "This is the fucking Oval Office. We can't get no fucking pens that work around here." And you're just you're just clogging them all. You're like, yeah, "Here you go. Take another one." I like it. I, exactly. It's very like, subtle. Do I have, have to do that or can evil. I just... You're not jerking somebody's wheel so they can <laughs> oh, go into a fucking <laughs> wheel of an automobile. <laughs> not fucking... You'd be a, I think you'd be a good ghost if you, you were... <laughs> you were just right on the you cliff better, there. You better just be careful. Oh my goodness. Or you could... Yeah, you just like loosen the screws on the door handle so it jiggles a little bit when like he opens undo, it. Like undo like yeah, the screws like on somebody's chair. You've seen those videos where they like... And then they fall down. Yeah, and they sit I down and just... Wham. I think I have a ghost that mildly fucks with me. <laughs> Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Oh, I think I, got, I think I got a ghost that that he's cool with me. That he looks out for me. 
because there's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> shit. Church is the original. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should do it a little more often. But, uh, no, there's there's a lot of shit to where it's just like oh, that could have been bad, and it's not. Yeah. See that goes. Yeah, I think I think I have two. One guy fucks with me. The other guy's like subtly is like, okay, just hang in there, man. Like one on each shoulder. Yeah. Devil and an angel. I was one. I was. I think about that philosophy a lot. No. The one thing on each uh, each shoulder. No. You got two wolves inside of you. They won't stop fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I have that? Like, they're small wolves. <laughs> Holy it's shit. not a it's not a t shirt. Lad lad show me a fucking t shirt that it says I got because <laughs> you know the whole fucking deal. You got two wolves inside of you, one's good, one's evil. Right. The one that's gonna win what you feed. So he showed me a t shirt that says I got two wolves inside of me and they won't stop fucking <laughs> and it's in his two wolves and then one of them's humping the other one. <laughs> good lord. Holy shit. Where did you find that shirt by Spencer said to Spencer? It's, shirt. Can, my it's, friend's wondering. Yeah, uh my buddy. You can find it anywhere, just look it up. Okay, you want to maybe like I'm plug the link to a yeah. couple of them? Yeah. Can't remember how to search for it. <laughs> uh, Stalin. So here's one on Stalin. On Halloween 1961, former USSR leader Joseph Stalin's body, which was previously in a glass coffin in Moscow's Red Square, alongside the body of Vladimir Lenin, was removed from public display. People kept throwing tomatoes at it. Really? Actually? No. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Maybe I guess I wasn't there. Would you throw tomatoes at a glass coffin of a leader that wasn't great? Yeah, I would throw tomatoes at a lot less worse people, I think, in coffins. <laughs> <laughs> you really added to the dynamic there by saying in coffins at the end. Uh, the prediction in 1981, a murder on Halloween morning happened inside a Manhattan home. To make things even spookier, the exact murder had been predicted by an infamous serial killer. Who do you think it is? Bro? The Zodiac Killer. No. I expected you to know this one a little bit more, actually. Okay, restate, re-say it again. I feel 19- like I'm letting you down. 1981, a murder on Halloween morning happened inside a Manhattan home. To make things even spookier, the exact murder had been predicted by an infamous serial killer. I'll read a little bit more and see if you get more context from it. On the early morning of Halloween 1981, while staying in their Manhattan home, 39-year-old Ronald Sisman and 20-year-old Elizabeth Platzman were beaten and shot to death. This serial killer had described a cult carrying out this massacre and even described the exact apartment layout to a T. Is it um, Charles Manson? No. You probably won't get it. David Berkowitz. Oh, damn. The son of Sam. Yes. Had ties to mine at Air Force Base. Yeah, and like the Tagus or whatever. Oh, man. If you look into the history of that town, it is terrifying. Have you seen that? The show, Son of Sam? No. Do you like... Serial killer shows? Yeah, sure. You should watch it. Okay. It's pretty crazy. David Berkowitz killed all these people in East Coast and then somehow got to Minot. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Uh, Mussolini, on October 31st, 1922, the Italian dictator Benito Mussolini was elected to power. They said Halloween this year was the start of fascism. That can't be like a great thing. No. Like just getting elected on that holiday? Oof. Probably great for him. He didn't give a shit, but I mean, you got to look at like the subliminal signs here. Yeah. Like getting married on Friday the 13th or something. Oof. Don't do that. We got everyday books. Doesn't Nate Bargatze have a joke where he's like, we got married on Friday the 13th? Like, what time do you want to get married? Whatever time you want. The whole day open. Accidental hanging on October 31st, 1990. William Anthony Odom was 15 years old when he accidentally hung himself when staging a gallows scene in the basement of his haunted house. That's one way to die. Could you imagine being a kid and going down there? Ooh, haunted house, scary. That one looks really real. Like he, that guy's hanging there. We're going to get into something later on in the episode about that. Oh, shit. Cradle snatchers. October 31st, 1977, one-year-old Nima Louise Carter went missing from her cradle. Since all the windows and doors in her room were locked shut, it is believed her abductor was hiding out in the closet. The child was found a month later dead in a refrigerator in an abandoned house nearby. Jesus. I think if you're going to kill on any day of the year, Halloween would be like the day to do it. Why? It's just spookier. 
It's spookier. I think it doesn't get much more spooky than just killing someone. Yeah, it does. Doing it on Halloween. And then stuffing their lifeless body in a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my mind is in the gutter. Come on, dude. You got to figure it out here. What are you? Come you got to figure it out. No, but why wouldn't you do it on Halloween? <laughs> Don't wouldn't look you? at me for the rest of the show. Like, I can't wait to kill this guy, but Halloween's a week away, so <laughs> I'm going to stick it out. Yeah, exactly. But like killing someone on our... You could dress up as the ninja and do it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, they're not going to know it was me. Exactly. Killing someone on a random Tuesday in July compared to killing someone on Halloween. What's cooler? Not uh-huh. cooler. It's cooler is a weird <laughs> word to use in that situation. <laughs> What's scarier? I don't know. What if you just like accidentally shoot someone on Halloween, but then like you do a whole serial killer thing in July? What's what's spookier? Well, now the really gruesome out. murder in July, or the one where he the guy just died on it's Halloween? Different, it's different ways to skin a cat. Well, here's yeah. the here's the thing. This listen, listen to this. Okay, where I, where I can balance into your perspective here. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> killed a lot of people. Some say too many. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say. Now, had he done that on Halloween, do you know how many fucking movies there would be about the Jeffrey Dahmer Halloween shit? And it would it would be an every year recurring Michael Myers franchise of whatever. Yeah. Because they would have just made movies about it. They would It would have been glamorized because it's Halloween. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know if it makes it scarier. It just takes it. It makes it more, more profitable. More known. Yeah. yeah. If his team like wanted to profit on the killings. They'd say, let's just do it on a holiday. The rest of the people that was in on it. The producers and all the directors and everything. All right. And cut. And he's like mid stab. And and cut. (laughs) Accidentally follows through with it. Yeah. Okay. Deadly decorating. Here we go, bro. On October 31st, 2005, locals in Frederica, Delaware, thought their their neighbor had reached new heights. Wow. I'm just struggling because Liam's moving. I'm going to let him go. Just read the words. I'm, I'm going to let him go, but like I was fumbling with the words. Okay. Uh, was it Close that? the door if you're going to pee. Yeah. I don't want to hear your chicken fry in there. No. Well, not upstairs. Just there's what? That's fine. A body hanging from a tree in the garden was thought to be a decoration for three house before people realized it was an actual person. It was real. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my hanging God. Hanging from the tree. They're like, dang, look at that decoration. There's a real person hanging from the tree. So th- did they figure out what it was? W- did somebody just kill themselves? Or uh, somebody it's murdered? It's sad, but I don't think I didn't write it down. That, I can't remember. I think it was a murder. What a way to go. Just an ultimate prank. Like, oh, people are going to think I have the best decorations ever, but I actually just hate my fucking life. Isn't that like that would be that kind of goes back into what I'm saying is. That would be one day where you could get away with something weird like that. There was right. another one, uh, and maybe it's down in there. If we run into it, I'll just skip it. But a mailman was delivering mail to the house, and he walked onto the porch. There was a dead body laying on the porch. During Halloween. And he just stepped over it, thinking it was a decoration. Turned out the guy, the owner of the house, had passed out and had been dead laying there for three days. And just because it was around Halloween, nobody questioned Yeah, and he had Halloween decorations and everything. There Which I'm a thinking story about that one time, like where an old lady died in her house and she had a bunch of cats and so the cats weren't getting fed. So like cats ate her Ugh. like there's like 23 cats or something like that. And they Ugh. ate her lifeless body. I don't love cats. I actually hate cats. I like That's- everybody else's cats. Except your I, own. I don't want, I don't have it. Oh, you don't want to own so any. I don't. Yeah. They're cool. Hey, if you're not in front of the mic, stay out of the podcast. All right. How are you going to piss? God damn. Pissing from his elbows? Yeah. Um, crazy, <laughs> Hall- <laughs> <laughs> crazy Halloween facts. Uh, people dressed as ghosts when they went outside on October 31st, hoping to either calm the spirits that were said to roam that day or to blend in with them. Oh, So that's where the ghost costume came from. They didn't want to get haunted, so they were like, I'm going to fool this ghost that I'm a ghost by wearing a bed yeah. sheet. And looking a little bit racist. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going to hold this torch. But yeah, I'm thinking like... <laughs> where's, where's the nearest roll of carpet? <laughs> <laughs> but like, why would you... Uh, you want to hop in the show? Can Liam? you sit? <laughs> Nathan's asking if you want a beer. 
Yeah. Oh, you might need to pee again. Um. So, what were we saying? The ghost thing. Yeah, we yes. got a little off topic there, but yeah. How? Blended. How? Why do people think that ghosts looked like that? You know what I mean? People see. Did people ever see ghosts looking like a white bed sheet? Yeah. Like, when did it start? Did it start before cartoons or what? I don't like you like that. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I don't understand. Why did they start wearing the bed sheet? Did they just think that the ghost looked like that? Son of a bitch, man. Since 1950, <laughs> a full moon on Halloween has occurred exactly four times. 1955, 1974, 2001, and 2020. You guys remember it in 2020? Yeah, I do. Everybody was freaking out because it was COVID and all that shit. And it, the earth was killing us. COVID was killing us. Yeah. Ghosts the werewolves were trying, were to, trying to come out. and Those are two... Wolves were doing two stuff. Wolves inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, so apparently people think that's a common thing. It's only happened four times. Yeah, it's it sounds like since 1950. So, is that when they started normal. tracking moons? It's, yeah, that's how it that's how it happens. It's the rotation every yeah, yeah every yeah. 20 years. It's not a Ish. coincidence. Yeah, but people are like, ooh, full moon on Halloween. It's weird how that like it goes from you said 19. Go ahead. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. Um. We'll see. <laughs> Up until like we'll decide that <laughs> our years of living, um, the bedsheet ghost was actually considered actually terrifying because instead of coffins, people used to be like buried, like just wrapped around in linens. That makes oh. sense. Actually. So when they they didn't like weren't naked as ghosts, they were in they were the just sheets. Oh, that makes sense. I yeah. guess. So yeah, uh, that's what I was gonna talk about was, um, if like they started dressing up. With the bed sheets, like before, like cartoons and stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. Continue. I don't want to. No, continue. I wasn't even laughing at you. It's just that you took your headphones off and you keep going. I don't know why I was smiling, but I'm over it. Go. I'm over it. No, just go. I'm sorry. That was interesting, Nathan. Thank you. <laughs> go. Um. So, did they start dressing up with the bed sheets like before cartoons? Is what I was gonna ask. See, I can't do. It. I don't what? know. I don't know why I'm just talking to you today, bro. It's just making me laugh. <laughs> we are not ever going to be able to finish this episode. No, I only have like two more things left, but like, I just look over in that direction. I just want to laugh for some reason. Okay. We're going to have a talk here. I can't even remember what he said. I don't. You want to say it one more time? No. One more time. No. Okay. The word witch. <laughs> 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 the, the witch of words may not have been the best connotation now but in reality it stems from the old english word <laughs> someone else gonna finish these notes man are you laughing at me i don't know i'm just laughing at the show <laughs> <laughs> can you read I can't I am, i'm fucking great second from reading. the top i see it yeah the- I see it. The word witch, she fucking used to say all kinds of words. Horrible, horrible woman. Uh, the word the witch. Wor- oh, the word witch. The word witch. Did, you, did that click now for you? <laughs> oh, my yes, God. Yes, it did. Oh. The word witch may not have been the best connotation now, but in reality, it stems from the old English word witchy, W-I-C-G-E, wiki or something, wiki, yeah. which means wise woman. Why... How did, how did that make her wise? Yeah, why Wikipedia? No, wiki, wiki used to wiki? mean oh. it used to mean wise. She's it like stemmed, wicked? stemmed from some sort of uh, language. I can't remember. It said on the research when I was looking at it and typing in. So basically, the word wiki, which meant witch, also translated to wise woman. Okay. So I don't know how it got switched from wise woman to or when because so like this is just a point coincidence. Hat. Yes, yeah, at it's some just, point throughout the years, it's turned into they decided which is. <laughs> Dude, you got to just hold it together. What are you doing? I don't know. Anyways, just look at Brody. He's he's all these. Him. He's got a case of the giggles tonight, don't you? I do. Huh? It's oh, weird. Boy, it's and I'm sober as a gopher. That's the thing. It's water. Okay. Uh, <laughs> read the notes. All right. The 1978 classic horror flick. Halloween. You're a sham. Was filmed <laughs> on sh- such a shoestring budget that the crew used a $2 Captain James Kirk mask. To make it more sinister, they reshaped the eye holes and painted it white. 
Hold All on, right. I'm fucking with my eye holes. <laughs> Who made these fucking bags? I think we all think. Does it even look like Captain? <laughs> Captain. We gotta end the show. Captain <laughs> Canaller. Captain Canaller <laughs> from the Monkeys. Yeah. Yard. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> guys, we gotta end the show. Okay, we well, can't. we're not ending. We got a few bullet points left. I wish you'd have told me that before I go rip to piss. But some animal shelters won't let Sorry. anybody adopt black cats around the end of October. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Uh, <laughs> you purposely placed black at the end of the line, so he's just like, <laughs> never mind. Go, go ahead. Some animal shelters won't let anyone adopt black cats around the end of October because they're afraid the felines will be sacrificed. Oh. Jesus, that's my mom up. used to be so paranoid about <laughs> about black cats getting killed and stuff really? like that, like in all these rituals and stuff around town. I get, I don't know, it, 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 <laughs> rituals around Minot. Yes, where, dude? My mom Fucking is where? paranoid of stuff that I think After, is ridiculous. The shit that your mom's gone through, I would be too. Yeah. That After this shit my sense. mom's thrown at kids. Yeah. After, <laughs> <laughs> maybe she just had it coming. Yeah. Good grief. Oh, maybe, that, that doesn't happen around here. You don't think well, it you does? Don't maybe it does, does I but I don't know. I've had a lot of stuff that happens. Well, the sons of we Sam were here, so maybe there's yeah. some of that. Just one of them. Little trickle down do. economics with the satanic trickle. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. One thing snowballs into another. <laughs> Just do. We'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> trickle down, <neck. laughs> trickle down, trickle, trickle down, satanity. Yeah. Satanity. Liam, one Read thing the notes to so another. End this podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you still believe? Like, so whenever you see a black cat, like run across the road or something, like I don't that, give do you a shit. Bad luck. I try and hit it. I mean, it always passes. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, and I try not to walk under ladders. I don't walk. I, you yeah, try I not to break either. mirrors or whatever. Yeah. No, all that stuff. Yeah. I, what I, are I, the I other just, ones? I just don't do it. Uh, yeah, break mirrors, walk <laughs> do under Do you know ladders. why the whole, if you spill salt, you throw it over your left shoulder? Do you know why people do that? See, speaking of like weird superstitions. Uh, like the bad luck if you throw it over the wrong shoulder? No, like if you spill it, you're supposed to throw it. <laughs> Dude, it, this is what I'm talking. Anyways, if you spill it, you're supposed to throw it over your left shoulder because when you spill salt, apparently it was a sign that the devil was getting close to you. So, and he would be looking at you over your left shoulder. So, so you throw it in his eyes. It's that ghost. Sand. It's that yeah. ghost that's fucking with us. Just mild things. You spill in your salt. Just a little bit. Just fuck with your salt. Yeah. So, Hit it with yeah. the pocket sand. <laughs> right over. Yeah. And fucking right in his eyes. And everyone wow. knows the devil comes over the right shoulder. Left shoulder. Left shoulder. Fuck. I was 50 50 there. Was, yay. At least you tried. Thanks for yeah. playing. Uh, according to a 2019 survey, half of trick or treaters prefer a chocolate treat over any other type of Halloween candy. Not me. Six percent would accept gum. Hmm. I, nah. I, I I'm going, hated gum. I'm yeah. going like nerds are probably my favorite. Um, Reese's. Reese's is definitely the top chocolate for me. Yep. Really? Yeah. You prefer Reese's over anything? No, Reese's top chocolate. If in anything, I'd go probably like Nerds or Skittles. I like as simple as it is, uh, the Dum Dum Suckers. Are we just talking about Halloween candy? Yeah. yeah. Like, what was your favorite? Well, I think it's all interchangeable. I don't think any candy is excluded from being Halloween candy. Well, I, just, I didn't know because no, we were talking about. I, I was I was on the, hung, hung up on the chocolate thing. I thought we I thought we because you said Reese's, so I thought we were just comparing chocolate. No, like I think. You're talking about the goaded, like what, like when you reached into your bag and you saw, or like what did you hope you, for? You're like, Fuck yeah! Out of anything, it's Skittles or Nerds. Skittles. But if I, <laughs> like, dude, all right. But if I had to pick a top chocolate, it would be Reese's. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you got that out. Me too. I guess. Do you like almond joys? I love almond joys. <laughs> no, <laughs> really, they're uh, horrible. Uh, what's that the thing? other one? Mounds, the ones mounds. With the, Ugh, with even the, worse. The almond on top of it, or no? That's no. Or is that almond, without almond, the almond joys? Are the ones with the <laughs> almond on top? I mean, one's red, one's blue. Mound is I like no. the blue mounds. Ones. Mounds, are, yeah, blues are almond joys. Mounds are the red ones. I don't know what they have in there. You had a hundred grand bar before. Yeah, I used to buy it from Vicky, the the hallway Nazi at Ramstead. Oh my goodness, I remember her. We used yeah. to make so much fun of that poor lady. But, Is that right? She was a demon. Yeah. Do you remember uh, Mr. Good Bars? 
I love those. Yeah, those were always good. Those were so slept on. Mm-hmm. Charleston shoes. Those were really slept. Charleston shoes. Another slept on. The bite size dude, ones. In I'll the never freezer. forget, dude. Anytime I think about Charleston shoes, I think about Max Oltoff. Yes. Every time, because we were on the baseball bus one time, right? And he, he was he was saying something. He was gassing up Charleston shoes so hard. <laughs> so you got to get them. You got to. I'm telling you, next time you're in a gas station, you got to buy some of these Charleston shoes, man. And he was just sitting on the bus and just, <laughs> just, like, just <laughs> hammering his Charleston shoes. They're good. They're good. What do they, what do they feel? Is it like nougat in the middle? Or what is that? Nugget? No, no nougat I think is it's a different. Mar- no, it's nugget. a marshmallow type. Is it? Yeah. He's going to tell us right now. We got What's Peter in Gallery. the center of it? No, I got the uh, difference between almond joys and mounds. Even better. We just talked about it. You didn't no, say I don't know. What, I don't know what the different mounds. almond joys have. Almonds and they have uh, milk chocolate, and mounds have uh, uh. no coconuts <laughs> and are covered the by dark, dark chocolate. No coconut and no what? dark chocolate. And no are covered or- by dark chocolate. Okay, okay. dark Gross. chocolate's shitty. I don't, I don't like, like it dark one chocolate. time. I made. I was one. I was trying to make s'mores in the backyard. And I accidentally bought dark chocolate bars. And I was so disappointed when I got home. What was the other question? Charleston shoes. What's inside of them? Yeah. And um, the nougat. Is it? Yeah, it might be that. So I think it's a marshmallow type. Yeah. Dealio. And the mic is a crazy play with those. But I had yeah. to. I had to at least once. So disrespectful <laughs> to the people listening. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just make you feel bad. Me? Yeah. No. I don't you fuck. should. Why? Because they're. If, if the people listening, they burp. So you know what? Not the do girls. they do it in your ear yes, hole? They do. <laughs> girls burp. Girls fart. You know why they say that they don't? Because they know that it smells so much worse <laughs> than, than man fart. <laughs> That's why they don't do it because every time it smells horrible. <laughs> anyway. What kind of girls' farts are you smelling? Not anyone's in particular. It's usually <laughs> if I'm just walking down the street. You, you can tell the difference off the Yeah, because it smells rip. horrible. If it's a, a, a man that's fart. A lady fart right there. That's, lady a, that's fart. a lady fart right there. <laughs> I knew it. Maybe it's a stop, lady fart. Maybe you should stop crawling around and just walk. <laughs> okay, I don't know. All right. What you got he, something, he's Nathan? Got, he's going to tell us what's inside the Charleston. It's, it's literally just flavored nougat. It's just, Flavor I looked what? up like the ingredients in it and it's literally just, well, they have like strawberry any chemical that you can think of. It's probably in there. Christ. That's good. <laughs> Break it down. You got meth, cocaine, you know, whatever you want. I Sweet. wonder why Max loves them so much. <laughs> God. He's clinically looked. addicted to them. <laughs> he had his Charleston chew and a cup of bleach. He's like, God, this is a great meal. You guys should try it. I love uh, Charleston chews though. Yes. Frozen. All right. Let me got any more notes on there. I got one more, and I'm trying to think about what candy. Because going all the way back to what we started with, I, what candy did I always want reaching into my bag? And I just taffy, not, not Snickers. Taffy. I mean, <laughs> Snickers were great. What? Not not Brown's. Not 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 <laughs> Brown's taffy. You know, um, hated Whoppers. Oh, see, really? I'm a, Whoppers, Whoppers is a low good. key fly under the radar. Yeah, yeah, I like no, Whoppers. I, like them. I mean, he, they're, they're 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 far from the top of the list. You're eating a bunch fingers. of like sweet like Skittles, Mike and Ike's, Nerds, and then you yeah. throw in a Whopper to kind of balance it. Mm-hmm. It's a good play. Sour Skittles, I love sour Skittles. Throw the little, little boxes of dots, like the gummies or whatever. Oh, those would fuck my teeth up. Yeah, until yeah. you get the fucking bricked up hard ones. <laughs> The ones that were just solid rock. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's like oh. last year's and they had extra. They're like, what are those? these box of dots in. The sixlets or whatever they're called. Oh, Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about? I like huh? sixlets. Uh. Mike, or hot tamales. Yes. Shit. Oh, hot tamales. What? what you I don't like hot tamales. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I thought you just said shit. So I like hot tamales. Bags of shit. If you wouldn't <laughs> yeah. want to go. Yeah. I'd really look forward to reaching in the bag and finding that. I can tell. Uh, last note we got here on this episode in Alabama, wearing a nun or priest costume for Halloween is illegal. Oh yeah. Can't do it. Nope. It's against the religious stuff. Apparently it's rude to do that. It's like mocking their religion. Okay. Good. Because there's plenty of slutty nuns to go around <laughs> around Halloween. Not it in seems, Alabama. Seems, right? Not in Alabama, no, but it seems it's they like to do it every year. I don't know. Just what. had to throw that one in there, huh? Yeah, we just throw them in at the end, you it's know. It's interesting, yeah. Just the random I didn't ones. know that. Yeah, I didn't know they that. Give us a couple extra minutes on the show, you know. Yeah. 
think we had the a credits. couple minutes long this time. Yeah, well, I was good. Else there on this one? Yeah, well, Halloween's a big topic. You know, it's a it's a holiday. We've just been around for a while. I think that was a fun episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, it I laughed so hard. I don't care. Yeah. I laughed too I, much. I, I just started myself. looking at Broden. Up and I couldn't get anything out because you just kept laughing at I, me. I'm I'm actually sorry. I don't know why. But like, I, was just, I wanted to fight you so much in that hour. We look like so like this felt so much like a fake thing we were doing. But it was this podcast like you're sitting there with a the mic all. You felt like Truman Show. Yeah. And I was like, this is so weird. Right well, now. we're on a set. I mean, yeah, I like, hear you we're on set. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's it for episode 15. Um, follow us on Twitter, Facebook. You know, the link will be down below. Subscribe. Yep. Leave a rating and review. We say that every episode, but we're going to keep saying it. It really helps. One of these times uh, you guys are going to be like, you know, what? maybe I should do that. They keep saying it. Yeah. I like holding papers. I just realized that. Like, yeah, it's, it's fun to just feel good. Don't it? Yeah, that's why this this is how you felt this whole time, huh? Yeah. I how did say. you like the note reading? It was nice. Yeah, it was, it was I a good change of pace. Read really yeah. well. I yeah, I know. I know You're words. Pretty good at yeah, I know words. knowing stuff. I like it. Yeah, I'll dumb down on. the notes if you want to do it next time. Just make sure me dumbing down the notes. Richard, I got a better vocabulary Richard, than you do. That's probably yeah. true. I got a vast vocabulary. It's expansive. There he goes. Here. <laughs> now he throws in a couple yeah, words yeah, to show it off. I'm going to really flex on you. And I'll tell you right now. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching episode 15 on Halloween. We will see you next Tuesday. Enjoy your Halloween weekend. We'll see you guys uh, next Tuesday. Enjoy your bags And we'll and see shit. you next Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. And check out the Wonderland. <laughs> yep. yeah. uh, that is That's episode it. 15, That's three it. dudes. That's episode 15, three dudes. <laughs> That's episode 15, three dudes. We'll see you next Tuesday. Three dudes, episode 15. Peace uh, out. We're done. See you.